Hello everyone, my name is Trickster Fox. Welcome to my Let's Play channel, and more importantly, welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play. So, this is Super Mario Land. Of course, it was released in 1989 by Nintendo for the original Game Boy. In fact, I believe this was the launch title for the Game Boy. I think the only other launch title I can think of is maybe Tetris? But even then, I'm not too sure on that. So, some interesting things to note about this game are that, one, this game was actually not developed by Shigeru Miyamoto, who usually developed a lot, or at least had some kind of involvement with a lot of the Mario games, even at this time. But this was actually developed by the creator of the Game Boy himself, uh, Gunpei Yokoi, if I remember the... if I believe that's the name, Gunpei Yokoi. Um, and I believe he also had a hand in making the Metroid series as well. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, I wanted to do a short playthrough of this game because it's actually one of the shortest Mario games with about a total of 12 levels that's four different kingdoms with three levels each and two of which are shoot 'em up style levels very similar to Gradius or R-Type uh, I guess the last thing I can uh, note about this game is that um, the story of it is that basically Mario is going through the kingdom, I guess, or the land known as Sarasaland, because an evil space alien named Tatanga is trying to take it over by brainwashing and manipulating the inhabitants. And to complete his complete rule of Sarasaland, he has to marry its current ruler. Princess Daisy, making her grand debut in this game. And this, of course, was the only time that she was ever in a main series Mario game. After this, of course, she would go on to live on in spin-offs, such as a lot of the sports games, uh, the Mario Party series, and, of course, the Mario Kart series as well. So, yeah... This game had quite a few things going for it. A lot of the enemies look very similar to that of the traditional Mario games, but of course their names are slightly different. Not that that matters to me. But the reason I... One of the biggest reasons I actually wanted to do a Let's Play of this game was because I want to start a series of Mario games that I will call Mario's Handheld Adventures. And of course, this is going to be the first game in the lineup because this was the first handheld Mario game ever made. After this, of course, I will move on to the what is considered the much superior sequel, Super Mario Land 2. But one comes before two, so therefore we have to go through one first. That's enough of me talking. Let's actually start the game. Now, as I'm recording this, the audio is muted for me because I turned my speaker off, or my speakers off, before, um, uh, before starting the recording process. The first kingdom that we will be going through is Buru Buto Kingdom, if I remember the name correctly, which is based on Egypt. You can tell by the pyramids in the background or what look like pyramids and palm trees because apparently deserts have those well I mean I'm sure they do I know beaches have them but I've never been to any desert so I can't really confirm if they do or not what I just got there was um, a new power-up that I don't think has been in any Mario game since Super Mario Land at least until Super Mario Maker 2 or so I've heard now, the Super Ball, in a way, kind of works in a similar way to that of the Fireball, which means you can use it as a projectile to hit enemies with, 
But when you're not using it as a projectile to hurt enemies, you can use it to collect coins in tight spaces as I was doing just a minute there. And certain enemies, if Mario could, there we go. Um, some enemies will take more than one hit to take down with the Super Ball. So if that doesn't work for you, just jump on them. You know, it's a Mario game. Stomping on enemies, if uh, the Super Ball doesn't work, that's always usually the safer bet. We're about to come up to the end of the first area here, uh, or the first level, if I can just get these coins. Come on, there we go, much better. Yeah, you have to be somewhat of a distance away for the uh, Super Ball to go into the tight corridor. And at the end of every level, or every first and second level, there will be two doors. You generally want to aim for the one at the top, because anytime you do, uh, you enter a little bonus game where you can get extra lives. Or a f Super Ball if you don't have one already. And I always want to make sure I get as many lives as possible, simply because I already have the Super Ball equipped. And you may have seen a little bit ago that Mario collected a heart to get a 1-up. Yeah, every now and again you can find hearts that'll get you extra lives when you don't get them in bonus games. Another way to get extra lives in this game is by collecting 100 coins. Very similar to how you collect 100 bananas for an extra life in, say, the Donkey Kong Country series. Not the best example to compare this to, I know, but it's the only game that I can think of that does something similar. Now, I'm not going to do what Chugga Conroy did and list off all the names of the enemies because um, he's much more well-informed, obviously, than I am, but uh, I'm just here to play a game and actually talk about stuff as I, uh, as I play the game because that's how Let's Plays work. Or at least that's how I like to do it. And as you can see there, I got a heart that got me an extra life. Um, something that I think is interesting is that, um, I don't know if I talked about it already or not, but this game, believe it or not, was the first game to introduce Princess Daisy as a character. And I do think it's interesting that she appears in this game. It is sad, in my opinion, as well, that she doesn't appear in any other main series Mario games. Uh, but hey, the same could be said for Wario. And I had to be quiet there for a second because sometimes I need concentration to get the right amount of lives that I want. Okay, now while I do have my speakers turned off and I can't hear the music or the uh, game audio, um, this is the final area of Birubuto, and it's the tunnel level. And if the music sounds familiar to you, you might recognize it uh, as one of the tracks that was put into Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, I like it. Oh, and of course, I lost my Super Ball because I got hurt by an enemy projectile. That's okay, though, because I can go under this um, lower corridor here. Although, technically, if I was Big Mario, I could still fit through there. And falling projectiles. Gotta be careful with those. Gotta get the mushroom to make myself big again, be a Super Mario. And I do believe one of these has a Super Ball, so I'm gonna... Yeah, there it is. Be careful with those platforms, by the way. Uh, they drop if you stay on them for too long. Let's get rid of you. And here we have our first boss. Now, what you could do, if you have the Super Ball equipped, what you could do is just continue to shoot uh, Super Balls at him until he's dead or disappears. 
but I'm not going to do that. Instead, what you could do, very similar to how you handle Bowser uh, fights in the original Super Mario Bros., uh, you can activate a switch behind the boss that instantly kills them and ends the level. And here's our first instance of what we think might be Princess Daisy. Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy! Wait, you're not Daisy, you're a fly. Get the hell out of here, boy. Yeah, get on out of here. You're not Princess Daisy. Yeah, as you can see there, that was obviously very reminiscent of the whole, um... Sorry, Mario, but your princess is another castle saying that Tote would say at the end of each castle in the original Super Mario Brothers. Now, if I could just get to three lives, or at least one or two, I should be okay. Yeah! Man, I've been really lucky with getting extra lives so far. So, this is going to be where the first episode of Super Mario Land ends, and next time we will be heading into the Muda Kingdom. So, until then, I've been Trickster Fox, and stay tuned for the next installment of Super Mario Land. I will see you guys then. Take care!